Southern California and San Diego in particular is an important global biodiversity hotspot. We have more bird species than any other county in the United States. We have more plant species than either, any other county in the United States. There's very unique plants and animals that live here. For the residents that live here, it's our responsibility to protect them and make sure that they can you know, sustain themselves for future generations. My name is Kevin Clark. I'm the Director of Bioservices at the San Diego Naturist Museum and we are sitting here in the museum's bird and mammal collection and we're surrounded by our 50,000 specimen bird collection of skins and we also have 10,000 skeletons of birds of uh, Southern California and Baja California which is our mission area but also all over the western U.S. and all over the world because we get specimens from all over the place. The National Museum has a mission to conserve and educate about the natural history and, and nature and the environment of Southern California and Baja California. We uh, combine research and conservation and education uh, to try to you know achieve that mission of educating the public, uh, finding out challenges about what's going on with the environment, um, tracking uh, patterns with the environment, and uh, doing research to see you know, how we can improve the environment. One uh, group that we work with is the California gnatcatcher, and I have a specimen here as an example. The California gnatcatcher is a bird that only exists in Southern California, coastal Southern California, including Baja California. There's only about a little over 2,000 pairs left in Southern California. And so we do research with this species to try to track how its nesting is doing, how it reproduces. Um, we do research on trying to find which kind of plants it most likes to forage in and which kind of plants it most likes to nest in so we can protect those plants. And also if uh, there's restoration efforts of disturbed areas, we can know what kind of plants to plant to make it a very good habitat for the California gnatcatcher. Well, I've been working with birds since I was a kid. I used to get super excited about seeing red-tailed hawks in my backyard, or I used to love great blue herons. I volunteered at the Natchez Museum in high school because I was so excited to, to work with animals. And I went to college and majored in biology and studied animals there, and went on with my career. So I've always followed that because that's what I love. There's a lot of opportunities for young people to get involved with conservation. There's various um, Audubon groups that lead nature hikes. There's uh, the San Diego Natchez Museums volunteer groups that lead nature hikes, the canyoneers, there's also whaling docents. You could also come to various interpretive centers or the museum itself to learn about your local environment. Um, and there's also many different friends groups of various canyons that lead monthly hikes and uh, bird watching groups to, to learn about the, the local areas. One of the things I did when I was a kid was uh, I would you know, join other groups where there was a leader who was knowledgeable about the local natural history, so I would learn about the plants and animals from that leader. I also used to love to buy field guides. Field guides are a wonderful resource as well to teach yourself. San Diego has grown a lot, and some of the places I remember being open space as a kid are no longer around. But at the same time, a lot of places that used to be kind of ignored or abandoned are now well managed, and there's a lot of support for local parks and canyons to be cleaned up and preserved, and so there's way more attention and appreciation now, I think, for our local environment than there ever has been.